you watch games, watch any games on TV? Or? Absolutely, yeah. I watched every like, game. You know, what was that like? Except two. Um, <laughs> while I was healthy, it, I was, I wasn't, excuse me, while I was not healthy, I was enjoying being at home watching. Uh, but when I got healthy, that's when it got harder to watch because then you feel like you can be out there and be playing and participating or at least helping out during the week, you know, at practice. So once you're healthy, that's when it's kind of like, wow, well, this is getting tougher to watch because I feel like I could maybe be out there or, like I said, at least be out there during the week. But while you're not healthy, being on the couch is just fine. I mean, you're sitting, when you're watching, are you sitting calmly? Are you fidgeting? Or? Very calm. <laughs> How long was it yeah. before you got healthy? Like how, what week were you sitting? About six weeks. Six weeks. <laughs> yeah, which matched the uh, what the yeah the settlement that we agreed on, so it's perfect. Did you get a sense when they moved you with the injury settlement that they might want to bring you back? Uh, yeah, there was some there was some talk about that, but the the thing is, uh, so long ago, you know, you can. Can have whatever intentions you want, but then eight weeks into the season, who knows what's what's going to be happening? So I was aware of that. Um, although, whether they wanted to or not, who knew if they were going to be able to bring me back? So, yeah. Were you in this area still? Yeah, I, I didn't go anywhere. Oh. Yeah. I pay rent here, so I live here. <laughs> is, it, is it strange to walk in here and not see Amir, someone who's been in this running back room for so long? Yeah, absolutely. You know, Amir's a good friend of mine and uh, has been my teammate my whole career. So, yeah, it's uh, certainly tough to see him go. Um, wish him the best. I'm going to be watching watching him whenever I can. Uh, great guy, great teammate. So, sorry, since I was a minute late here. Yeah, it's brutal, Dave. Come on. <laughs> did, did you think that you were done then at some point? I mean, after the injury settlement when you didn't get it done? <clears throat> so, I mentioned that to, to Mike uh, that you missed. Um, but uh, it wasn't that um, I was done with football. It was more as, is football done with me? So, yeah. So I was so I was uh, preparing for either outcome, preparing to um, move on and go to school and do some other fun stuff, or uh, preparing and also preparing to come back and play for someone. So I tell them the Greenfield Village stuff. Okay, see that first. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> Exclusive, Dave. Obviously, preparing for football means working out. You know, staying on top of that. Absolutely. Uh, I studied for, I was in a lot of my downtime, I was studying for my MCAT, which stands for a Medical College Admissions Test. I took it five years ago in May, so I need to retake it. Yeah. So. I remember that was the story when you came here, I think. Yeah, well, so I, was I going to have to retake it? Yeah, uh, it sucks, but I have to. So um, I spent a lot of time studying for that and just getting rolling um, and setting, and, you know, I plan, still plan to take it in March. Yeah, March or April, depending. How's that baby been? Awesome. You spent a lot of time with him. Yeah, that was really great. To be at, be at home and spend a lot of time with the, uh, the family was excellent. Uh, he is working on crawling, which is both exciting and terrifying. So <laughs> yeah. if, with, with that stuff, if you had yeah. gone to another team, because obviously you know this playbook, it's right. so much, if you had gone to another team, would you have had maybe thought of maybe postponing the MCAT a little bit longer? Or do you... No, no, I'm not. I'm still now, now that I'm here. I'm I'm not going to study the MCAT anymore. So that's something that if I was going to be picked up, set that aside. Uh, and I've planned it out. Once it's March, I think is a safe time. Once the season ends, dep it really depends when the season ends. You know, I mean, if we get to work through the postseason, um, then I'll have to push that date back. But if the season ends in January, then take a week or two off and then start putting in like six seven hour days until the test. And then do you have, do you, will, you, will you have a decision to make at that time of which direction you want to go with your career or is it football? So no, football. correct, football. So uh, once you take your MCAT, it's, uh, I think it's like three to five years depending on who you talk to. So I think uh, that would buy me another three years basically for sure, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, it, there's a lot of contingencies to that. You know, how do I feel? Um, that's the biggest one. Uh, how's the body? You know, that sort of stuff. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Really good. A little tired after practice. Yeah, exactly. Was it all the same? Did you feel, did you feel the same when you came back? Just, like, just pick up the stuff you were doing before? Um, it's a little bit of a little more nervous for practice than I would have been. 
but uh, once got out there, got rolling, um, it felt pretty good. It felt pretty good.